Hey guys, this is Leslie and I'm back again with another book review. Thanks for joining me again today and for this review, I'll be doing Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Niven. This is another teen book or YA fiction and it deals with themes such as bullying, discrimination, fat shaming, um, trying to fit in and being different. And I have to say that this is one of a kind book. Um, I haven't really read many teen books such as this one. And I really, really enjoy this one. And I really recommend it to anyone out there who likes YA fiction. The, one of the great things that I really like about this book are the characters. There are two main characters and it switches narration between them. The first one is called Libby Strout. She's a high school student. The one thing that's really noticeable about her is that she is really big or really overweight. She was once dubbed as America's fattest teen. And at one point in her life, she had to be lifted on a crane out of her house to be transported into a hospital. She deals with a lot of grief and sadness over the loss of her mother. And I really, really like this character because Libby is really quick-witted, She's funny and she's smart, and she, have, she has a strong drive to stand up for herself. She doesn't take crap from anyone, and she answers back people who try to be rude and mean to her. She's ready to enter high school after being homeschooled for a couple of years due to her weight. During that time, she's also been bedridden, so she kind of lacks the social skills needed um, for her to make friends in high school. I think she's a really great character because des despite her obstacles, she is very determined to fit in and to live a normal life. She wants to experience high school and experience the good things that she always wanted to do. She's very into dancing and she even had the courage to try out for a dancing squad at her local high school. And what I admire about Libby is that she just doesn't take any crap from anyone. And it's really hard to do that, especially when you're in high school. For example, people would leave me notes into her locker and it would say things like, you are not wanted. And people would call her fat ass or any, any really mean names and which are really hurtful. And she can, she knows how to deflect them. I mean, it does hurt her, but she brushes them off. If I was 16, maybe, what? thinking back in my high school days and if I experienced those things, I would probably be crying home every day and I probably wouldn't want to return to school anymore. So I'd, I admire her strength and courage to live a normal life and for people to see her as her and she's not just, she's more than her weight. The second character is Jack. Jack suffers from a rare condition called prosopagnosia, which is facial blindness. This means that he has trouble recognizing people's faces, even his friends and his own family members, and even to the extent of his own face. When he looks in the mirror, the face that he sees, he does not recognize that it's him. It makes it very hard for him to fit in school. So he counters it by trying to be cool and trying to act suave, you know, having swagger at school and being just trying to be Mr. Cool. It's working for a while. However, there's more to what meets the eye with Jack. He's going through some um, heavy family drama at the moment. Both of his parents are in a strained relationship and it's affecting his studies and affecting his life at school. These two characters collide together when an incident happened at school and they were forced to take group counseling. In that group counseling, as time went on, they got to know each other. Over time, some, ro some romance or love blossomed. One of the great things I like about this book is the... It made me aware of this prosopagnosia condition because before this, I've never even heard of it. Nor do I imagine that it existed. I've never met anyone who has facial blindness or can't recognize people's faces. So I had to go online and do a bit of research about it. And it's quite interesting. I like Libby a lot and she she's such a relatable and quirky and likable and unique character. I felt like I can see myself in her like when she was in high school because I also kind of stood out in a way. But with her, she was dealing with weight. But with me, I was dealing with um, height. So I didn't experience much bullying to that degree, but I did, got, I did get some uh, mean comments and a little bit of discrimination. But um, I admired the way that she stood up for herself and she, 
she doesn't she's unapologetic she doesn't apologize for her weight and the way that she looks she goes for what she wants in life which is dancing she goes for a, a really um her connection with jack as well it's not really a dislike but one of the things that concerns me about this book is the romance well it's very important to have um a romance incorporated in a teen novel my concern is that a lot of teens or young adults will think that having a boyfriend or a girlfriend is the cure for mental illness um they might feel like i need to have a boyfriend or a girlfriend to be whole and happy well it's not really the case it's just my concern that people might get the wrong idea that without love in your life you're worthless and nothing and for you to survive life you must have a, a partner or someone who loves you so i think that's one of the main things i'm concerned about and i think in the book i find it just a little bit unrealistic that or very unlikely that none of Jack's family ever recognized his condition. None of them noticed it. They were completely unaware of his facial blindness. I think in real life, parents and close siblings would probably take note of it and will probably notice that there's something a bit off about their family member. So with that, it's a little bit unbelievable for me. Overall, I really, really like this book and I highly recommend it. This is one of the more the most popular titles in our local library. It has over 100 holds and I really really like the story. The author did a great job portraying these two characters who are flawed. At the same time they have so many redeeming qualities about them. And it isn't any typical high school character that you normally read in high school teen romance books. You usually read teenage characters in books who are so perfect and who looks great and is so talented and smart these two characters are against the norm the main character is very very overweight at most i think she weighed over 600 pounds she's lost a lot of weight now and she's downsized quite a bit but she's still overweight and it's not really the main um norm in to write in books to write the heroine as a, a really big character and the guy also is, um, he's really cool and he's really handsome, but he's got so many issues dealing with, with his um, condition as well as his family issues. I would rate this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars. It's a really terrific book and I recommend everyone to please check this title out. That concludes my review for Holding Up the Universe. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for more videos. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!